Greetings everyone, CCX here. Welcome back to the Legends of the Wind Waker. In the last episode, we ended up doing one last gauntlet that will obtain us the last Triforce Peace Shard. And now in this part, we're actually heading back to the Forsaken Fortress. I'm an idiot. The first heart piece that, oh, and you guys are probably wondering, what's this episode going to be about? Let's just say the rest of the episodes are going to be focused on the heart pieces. One of the hard pieces that I completely nullified and completely missed is located in the Forsaken Fortress. Yes, you heard me right. The Forsaken Friggin' Fortress. You can actually get this Forsaken Fortress. In fact, I will read it. On the bottom of the floor of the room with the map of the Forsaken Fortress, in the corner behind the barrels, there is a switch. Step on it and open the gate and open the chest inside the jail cell for the piece of heart. So yes, there was a heart piece that I completely nullified, but it was only because of the fact that I did not want to travel or waste time in the Forsaken Fortress in the first place. Because if I did, well, it would have been really questionable why I was taken forever in the Forsaken Fortress to begin with. So, I'm gonna cut, and I'll be meeting you guys back to when we actually reach the Forsaken Fortress. So, be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now almost roaring to getting back to the Forsaken Fortress. So, I guess I could go ahead and show you what this place actually looks like after the fact of what you just did to this place. To this place. And I'm just going to say this now, it kind of looks like a regular area now because it's not nighttime and, you know, it's pretty safe. There are still enemies here. But not to the extent of you literally have to worry about the, literally have to worry about them. The enemies literally abandon this area as a whole, to be honest. But there are still enemies residing in this area, so you still have to literally be careful. And, you know, watch out for, um, idiots. Like, you see, you still got rats and, huh, I actually never seen that rat hole before. Huh, I guess that must be new. But anyways, um, let me see, where... Okay, let me see. It says it's in the bottom floor room with the map. Oh, hello, bats. I wasn't even paying attention to you guys because I am not, I'm not really that afraid of you guys anymore. Okay, so the only enemies that are located here are decor. <laughs> like, seriously. All right, let me see. I might have to. I might have to cut. So I don't waste time in this area, because I don't want to really waste too much time in this place. So if I don't find it in this one room, then I will... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Um... Yeah, okay, there it is. It's in that area. Okay, we need to... Here it is. Alright, okay, never mind now. I don't know why I couldn't find this. Oh, I remember why, because it would have been... It would have been really, really stupid... If I would have just, you know, completely nullify this heart piece entirely. Anyways, that's actually heart piece number one. You could actually get this heart piece first if you literally wanted to. Now, of course, we already have heart piece number two, which is playing Salvatore's Squid Game, where you have to beat the game less than 24 shots. You will be rewarded with the piece of heart. And then there's the one in Windfall, which is playing Hide and Seek. And the next area we're going to go to is actually we're going to Pawprint Island. So, I will cut and I'll meet you guys back to when I end up on Pawprint Island. So, be right back, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually back. Um, we actually could have gotten this heart piece before, at least I think. Because this is actually located to where we were heading to Dragon Roost um, Island. Which is funny, considering that's when I was showcasing the wonderful bottles. You guys remember that part, right? It's in the second ep- well, actually, it's not in the second episode. I don't know what episode it was on. But it's in one of the episodes. You guys know what it is. You guys can go ahead and check back in the last episode. Where things happen and, and stuff and- Please forgive me. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Anyways, what you gotta say? Do you know about choo-choos? No, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. I'm talking about choo-choos. They're... Sound that you make... That's the sound that people make when they kiss someone? What? Um... Is... Alright. Is that the sound you guys make when you guys kissing kissing your significant others? Because if it is, then... Stop. <laughs> it's such a stop. Because that's kind of weird in all actuality. 
Um, let me see something. What's on that very strange pineapple-looking island over there? I mean, it's a, it, it looks by far the most strangest tree out of every other tree that I've had the misfortune of, of seeing. And it bothers the hell out of me, too. I can actually latch onto it. Ooh, there's a hole here. Let's go down. This probably has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just going to check it out just because. Ooh, let me see. This has anything to do with anything. Sail the pauper island, crawl into the dome. Okay, no, this has nothing to do with anything. So what's in here, then? Hmm. Oh, my goodness. These friggin'... Why do I keep insistently doing that? Apparently, I really want to go ahead and make these guys feel the breeze. <laughs> ah, I keep running into these wonderful Riz robes. These guys are by far my favorite enemies. No, seriously, I, I don't like the summon versions because they summon more enemies and they also take the more the most damage out of all of them. Go oh, ahead. Oh my goodness, no. No! No! I am not having any of that! I mean, I could just use fire arrows to be able to kill you guys faster, but to see, the thing is, that takes too long, and I already know how magic arrows, for some reason, take the longest to shoot than um, actual arrows. Now it's going to be three of them. All right, so this one, I'm not going to be able to actually get enough time to be able to um, stop them, so I'm not going to even bother to attempt. Oh, but if I go ahead and let them um, summon, I can be able to... Oh, crap. Oh my god, I hate that. I really, really hate that. Because now what's going to happen is they're going to go ahead and ruin my um, target ridicule by doing that. Hey! Cut that out. That's not fun. In fact, it's so... It's... it's... Why? Why? Why must, be the... Why must this be a thing? P-hats. Okay. I can dig it. Can you dig it? No, I can't really dig it. You, you guys need to really go away. Okay, good. That's one. Thank God. Oh, look. A friggin' Mooblin, which is hilarious. Cause we do need to go ahead and actually get these guys, too. Wait a minute. Is there another one of you guys? I thought it was only two. Oh, apparently, I'm not paying attention enough. Wait, no. There is only two. What the hell? Go away. I'm trying to kill your master here. Take out the summoner. You know, these guys should have been the summoners, not the one in um Hyrule Warriors, not the ones that um we fought in uh Got him. Wait a minute. Why is this one taking more hits than the other one? Okay, whatever. Oh what the wait a minute, hold on. Something's going on that's wrong here. First of all, I thought it was only just one, but no, there's uh, there was only just two, but no. There's literally three of them. They're just shifting? So where'd that one go? Oh, I see. He just doesn't, he doesn't want to spawn himself. That doesn't even make any sense. Alright, that should be the last of them. Oh. I, go away. <sighs> I, uh, wow. That, that was really stupid. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That was really dumb. <sighs> well, at least something happened in this area. What is this? This must be another charter chart. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, let me just check. I'll put it on screen and tell you which one this is. Because even I don't really know which one this one is. Well, I'm gonna cut past all of that and just have the information show up on screen. But this is, um, this treasure chart is actually an HD exclusive treasure chart. It also consists of a piece of heart as well. So we do need to, we had no choice but to come here to get this said pe this treasure chart to get said piece of heart. Note to self, be sure to have all your papers in set order so you don't lose them, or else you won't be scourging like some moron like I just did, because that's exactly what I was doing. Anyways, before I end this episode, even though, to be honest, it's probably going to be very short in terms of length because of the fact that I'm not really wasting a lot of time in the whole department of me traveling to where the hard pieces are. But you want to know something? I'm... No. You know what? No. Because I'll see. I'll see what happens. Let me just get rid of all of these and this and this and put that over there. Okay, cool. <laughs> 
I'm glad I don't really have to worry about my headset making a lot of sounds, and I just guys have to worry about the, the sound effects that everything else makes, but that's besides the point. So anyways, in this area, there are two caves that you can enter. You can enter here and throw a bomb, and about, you can go about your business. Oh, at least we got maximum bombs again. After all those times, we actually wasted them and used them. There are also green chew jellies here, so be careful. Ooh, is this the hard piece? If it is, that's really dumb. Defeat the red chew jellies along the way and open the treasure chest at the end of the piece of heart. You have got to be smoking dongs. I could have gotten this stupid dumb hard piece to begin with. Eh, whatever. Eh, who cares? Tomato, tomato. Ah, more joy pendants. The more joy pendants, the better. And we, and like I said, there are also green chew jellies around here. Now, there's also another area that's up there, but you needed the grappler hook. You can actually now get it because you have said grappler hook. I don't know why I'm using bombs, considering I can just lift up these rocks with my two hands. Like, that's what the gauntlets are for. Ah, what's in here besides more random chew jellies? Ah, purple ruby. Good. Alright. Now let's go ahead and actually get up on the get up on the other half of this area because there there's another point of interest. Because this area is not quite done yet. Now with this one, what you want to do, you just want to climb up normally. You don't want to go ahead and do anything. You gotta be sure that you're actually climbing in a way that you will climb up because if you are any if you're diagonal at all you're not gonna climb up on the um, up on the um, stump yeah it makes sense trust me I swear it really does in terms of my logic <laughs> in terms of my logic and Legend is out of logic everything makes total sense alright oh I swear this better not be a joy pendant okay good it's a oh, that's even worse all right, let's get out of here. Ow. I broke my knees. I literally shattered my knees. Oh, my knees. They are all shattered. All right, that was heart piece number four, ladies and gentlemen. The next heart piece is number five, which doesn't really matter because it's actually located in a post box, so that can be ignored. It says that heart piece number five, Play, this is the right page, right? Okay, yes it is. Play the letter sorting game on Dragon Roost Island and complete the 25 letter sort for ban for Baito. Afterwards, mail the letter to his mother. She'll mail a reply back and it's the one that we end up having when I kept complaining about the guy not getting up there. Then you'll get heart piece number six, which is after finishing the Forbidden Woods and obtaining Ferrari's Pearl, check the post box for the letter is when you're leaving. You'll act, what the hell? Okay, that was annoying. Anyways, from Ruto's Chieftain, and it will contain a piece of heart. And heart piece number seven, which is what we're going to go get now, is on Greyfish Isle. It will be the last heart piece that we'll get before, as, um, when I end the part. How the hell did that stupid thing manage to hit me from there? I'm in a dome. The dome should protect me. By the way, this face, this face, I don't know, man. That, that face just scares me. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll be back until I... Well, do I really need to cut? Because, I mean, Great Fish Isle is just, like, right next to us anyways. Alright, let's go. Back to Great... Now, head to the Great Fish Isle. Oh, my neck. Seriously, guys. Never sleep on the wrong side of the bed. In fact, never sleep wrong on the bed. <laughs> Alright, now in here on Greyfish Isle, there's a specific heart piece that I completely ignore because I did not want to get it because I thought I would need it after I end up visiting the merchants. But since the game is telling me what order I should actually get these things, I'd rather get them now rather than getting them later. Because that way I don't have to suffer and, you know, you guys don't have to watch me fumble around like some moron. Anyways, does it feel like that this area got a lot more destroyed since the last time we, um, the last time we came here? Well, actually, it really does seem that way, doesn't it? Eh. Well, whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and latch on here, on this tree. I said latch on the tree. Oh, I'm sorry, does this tree not exist? Is this, the what the hell? Okay, I mean, that's not really the area you're supposed to go to, but it's still kind of dumb. 
Anyways, the real main attraction that you're really trying to look for is you're trying to really get yourself up on... Okay, no, seriously, where the hell am I supposed to really be going? I, the whole point is to try to get up there. Now, the real purpose... Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. We have no choice but to go over here. Because for some reason, this makes sense. Whoa, calm it down, like, I don't want you to go that far now, but boy. We need to go up to this spiral. Ignore those green rubies, they do not do anything for you. In fact, they are a waste of time. It's such a waste of time that I don't even know why they're even up there. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and walk all the way up top and make sure you end up changing the wind. Of course, there's a Kokiri, a Croc, or Crook, or whatever they're calling themselves now. That's here, and that, and remember, that also counts towards the 100% completion, and also getting the last heart piece. In fact, I, it's not the last heart piece that you'll obtain, it's one of the heart pieces you'll obtain. But it's still annoying. Also, be sure you have full um, magic, because trying to make it all the way over here is a bit hard. Well, actually, not really. Uh, we're probably going to get on the first try. I don't know why I thought that this was difficult, but... And a climb up there, and babushki, you end up getting yourself a heart piece. And apparently now the heater is being turned on, but don't worry, that noise removal thing will end up getting rid of it, thank god. Anyways, that's the fourth piece, and that is another heart piece for me and for my soul. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode of The Legends of the Wind Waker. The next episode will be continuing onward for more heart piece shenanigans. I've been CCX, you guys have been great, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Laters!